This video is on current voltage graphs. Um, really, the, a lot of this is a revision from key stage four, so hopefully it's fairly straightforward, but you really have to pay attention to the details um, because obviously at A-level there's a higher standard of understanding expected. So we're going to uh, produce some data for current voltage relationships in the three specific examples they state. That's a wire, a filament lamp, and a diode. We're going to look at the graphs of those relationships and relate them to Ohm's law. And we're going to explain the relationships using some simple models of conduction. Okay, so here's the uh, experiments that we set up. We've got some kind of uh, voltage supply. We've got somewhere varying the uh, voltage across the potential difference across the thing we're testing. You could do it like this. You could just have a circuit with the uh, variable resistor in, this, in series. But this potential divider circuit works a little bit better for us. We're measuring the potential difference across the component we're testing, the wire in this circuit, and we're measuring the current going through that wire. So important that the ammeter is in this part of the circuit in series with the wire. So we're measuring the voltage, the potential difference here, and the current uh, that are relevant to the component we're testing. So if you do that, you should end up with some graphs that look like this. Here's our first circuit. Um, so we can change the potential difference here across the wire by just adjusting this um, potential divider here. We'll talk about potential dividers later, but just this way of providing a variable PD. And the key thing to notice here is that we've got um, potential difference across this axis. We've got current on the y-axis. And the relationship between these two things is proportional. So if I double the potential difference, I'll get twice as much current think about that carefully you'll understand there that the resistance is staying the same okay I can change this over by just changing this to naught and this one to 12 and then I'll find that if I go in the opposite direction um, then I'll just extend that line so a negative potential difference that's just a potential difference in the opposite direction will give me a negative current a current in the opposite direction so this is a proportional relationship because the resistance of the wire is fixed. Okay, here's our second one that they specify. So in this one, I've got a bulb to test, and when I do the same thing, what we find is the graph curves. So I still get more current when I increase potential difference, but it doesn't go up in proportion. So if I get twice as much potential difference, I don't get twice as much current why is this? Well, if you think about it, I'm getting less current than I was expecting to get, which means that the resistance must have increased. So as the current going through the bulb increases, the wire gets hot, and this increases its resistance. Again, if I just reverse the um, connections, if you like, on the power supply, then that's just a symmetrical graph that goes the other way to make this kind of S-shape just exactly the same in both directions. So often with these you'll just see this quadrant of the graph because this is just symmetrical. If you apply the potential difference in the opposite direction you get the current in the opposite direction but the same amount of current. Okay that leads us to the third one, the diode. Um, and what happens with the diode, again hopefully you remember from GCSE the point of a diode is it only lets the current flow through in one direction. So how does that look on a graph? Well, if we apply a negative potential difference, so if down here my potential difference is negative, okay, then what happens is I get no current at all. You might see this extended out to somewhere around minus 50 volts, and eventually um, the diode will break down and the current will be able to flow through it. Okay, But in our model, there's no current when the potential difference is in the wrong direction, I'm trying to make the current flow um, in this direction. Okay, that doesn't work. The diode only lets the electricity go through the other way. So if I change the terminals around again and I make this one the 12 and this one the 0, now I'm trying to make the current flow around this way. Okay, what will happen then is, right, I will get um, nothing at first, but then a very, very big current very easily. If I just zoom in on that a little bit so you can see the detail a little bit. Okay, we're getting pretty much no current in the forwards direction as well until about 0.6 volts. 
but after 0.6 volts we get a very rapid increase in current so it's a little bit like a kind of gate that you've got to push open it takes a little bit of energy to push the gate open but once it's open the electricity can flood through um, so we always lose a, around 0.6 of a volt uh, as the electricity flows the right way if you like through the diode so here's our voltage current graph for a wire voltage on this axis current on this axis okay proportional relationship the resistance is constant and if the resistance was higher right if you think about it uh, another line on the same graph with a higher resistance we'd get less current for the same pd so the gradient of the graph here would be lower so the higher the resistance the lower the gradient of the graph if you look at the graph for a bulb it curves why does it curve well because the current increases or the voltage increases but not in proportion so this is not a proportional relationship why not because the resistance increases why is that and this is a crucial point the model we use is that the wire is made of metal ions and the metal ions vibrate so as the wire gets hotter there are more vibrations the vibrations are faster which causes more collisions with the electrons and therefore more energy is lost on the way through and therefore the resistance is higher okay ohm's law states that current is proportional to the potential difference across a resistor at a constant temperature so the only one of those two devices which is ohmic the only one of those two devices which is ohmic is the fixed resistor the wire okay because in that device the current is proportional okay here's a little bit more detail on our um, voltage current graph for the diode so again as I said here you, sometimes you'll see this around minus 50 volts the diode breaks down and you do get a current but normally we're in this part here no current when the uh, potential difference is applied in the reverse direction no current hardly any current here but then once we reach 0 0.6 volts then we suddenly get a very high current which means a very low resistance in the forwards direction but we do tend to always lose about 0.6 of a volt across the diode just a quick question they sometimes ask this quite tricky the missing meter readings in this circuit the current is going from positive to negative so the current is trying to go this way around that is the way the diode's pointing so you might think all 12 volts will be across the bulb but in fact we only get 11.4 volts across the bulb why is that well because it took about 0.6 volts to sort of open up the gateway of the diode right whatever number this was this would be 0.6 less than that number so we're always going to lose about 0.6 volts if we look in this circuit we're trying to make the current go the wrong way through the diode and the diode will stop those so all the 12 volts will be across the diode but there'll be no current flowing as you can see from the fact the bulb's not working there'll be no current flowing through the bulb right, because it can't get through the diode the wrong way